Well, welcome to the Morecambe Flood Alleviation Scheme. We're having an open day today to give members of the community the opportunity to come and see uh, what progress we've made in the town, but more importantly, uh, what progress has been made on the upstream storage area, uh, which we're constructing on the Mitford Estate. Um, we're giving a number of local community members and schools the opportunity to go up in a, on a coach up to the Mitford Estate, which is normally not open to the public, uh, where we are constructing the new dam, uh, which will help protect Morpeth from a 1 in 137 year scheme. Can you tell us a little bit about how uh, important the part the dam itself proves and the overall scheme. The, the scheme is in two parts. The, the town works themselves uh, are designed to bring the town defences up to a 1 in 50 year standard, so in line with the t defences that were constructed in the late 1960s. Um, the dam itself is designed to basically retain all the water that is over and above a 1 in 50 year flood event. Um, so we're talking 1.1 1 .1, uh, million cubic metres of water will be held uh, upstream of the Mitford Estate. Um, at the moment we're in the middle of constructing the, um, the dam, so we've put in the culvert units, the six uh, six culverts that the River Wandsbeck will pass through and each one will have a penstock attached to it and then as um, the river levels increase in a, during a flood event over a 1 in 50 year event the penstocks will shut and then more and more water will be impounded upstream of, uh, of the dam. The, one of the culverts is specifically designed to help uh, eel and crayfish passage uh, and that, that culvert was shut first uh, and at the moment we're, we've, as I say, we've installed it with all the culverts and we're currently in the process of constructing the inlet and outlet structures uh, from reinforced concrete and then the next step would be to, uh, to install the penstocks themselves. Uh, and then later in the year, uh, in, in the late summer, we'll be in a position then to divert the River Wands back, back through the uh, culverts uh, from its current diversion channel that's been installed to allow us to construct it. And then once we've done that, we'll be able to start constructing the earth dam itself. Uh, the amount of earth we're going to be using is about 80,000 cubic metres. Uh, and we're, we're actually in a position now to source that material from the Mitford Estate. Uh, we're, we're actually having a, a borrow pit, which at the moment we're going through some archaeological uh, excavations to confirm that it's clear of any archaeology, or if, it is, if there is any, we find that that's recorded, and then we can excavate out the materials we need to construct the, uh, the, the earth embankment. This means that we're actually eliminating significant numbers of uh, traffic movements uh, for bringing in the, uh, the clay, which was our original plan. So it's actually you know, quite, a, quite a big a big saving for the, uh, the community, so the impact is reduced significantly. So when do you expect the dam works to be complete? Uh, the dam works themselves will be completed in uh, December this year. Uh, so the, the earthworks will, will start uh, in late summer, early autumn, and then there'll be uh, finishing works carried out, so drainage, armour flex is, in, is uh, installed on the on the embankment of the of the river of the dam, which is designed to stop any clay finds coming out of the of the uh, embankment when the, the river is up. And there's also a large stilling basin to be constructed at the foot of the uh, dam embankment, which is designed to withstand. If there's any overtopping, it's designed to uh, deal with any wave action that might occur in the you know, very serious event that is beyond. The, uh, the one in the 137 year for the event. And um, what sort of reaction generally have you had from people so far that you've spoken to today? Uh, I think the, the, because the, the, the dam works is so far away from the town and are on the private estates, and people don't get to see what, what it is that we're doing up there. And, and you know, from talking to people who've been up there already this morning, uh, people are I think amazed to see the scale of the work that we're carrying out. Um, you know how impressive the, the structure is beginning to look, uh, and you know to get a better appreciation as to the significance of the works that we're doing up there uh, to, to help reduce the risk of flooding in Morecambe. And this 
probably is a one-off opportunity for people to see the dam, is it? Because they won't be, it won't be open later. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the plan is that we'll hold another of these open days when we're nearing completion or just after completion so people can see the finished article. Um, but once the, the works are complete and we've, we've left site and the dam is in full operation, uh, the dam will be on private land, it's, it's within the Midford Estate, so there won't be any public access to, to the structure. Um, so effectively it will be you know, outside of the town and people will just um, might only be able to see it if they're using uh, local footpaths and such like which, which people have access to. But other than that, the, it is entirely on private land.